router pin and bend it completely. Replace the O-ring and gasket and apply grease before inserting it into the cylinder head. Then tighten the cover bolts evenly to the specified torque. nozzle, but before disassembly, measure and record the injection pressure. When removing the nozzle from the nozzle holder, first loosen the pressure adjusting screw. Be careful! If the fuel nozzle is loosened or tightened while the pressure adjusting screw is tightened, the nozzle needle valve may be damaged. Clean and inspect each part of the fuel oil injection nozzle. Inspect the injection holes of the nozzle tip. First attach the spacer to the nozzle holder body, then insert the nozzle tip. Carefully check the correct position of the dowel pins. Spray the holder screw and retaining nut with Molly Coat 1000 and tighten it to the specified torque. After tightening the adjusting screw to the specified torque, tighten the lock nut. Check the spray pattern by injecting it two or three times at the specified pressure. Do not put your hands near the nozzle opening during the injection test. Finally, check that there is no oil leakage from the nozzle tip. Carefully clean sealing portions for the cylinder head. Place the seal for the intake manifold bend the push rod o-rings, the cooling water intake o-rings, and the starting air block connector o-rings. Fit new cylinder head gaskets. Do not apply a coating like Molly Coat 1000 to the gasket faces. Insert a new gasket for the exhaust manifold. Spray Mollicoat 1000 over the bolt threads and tighten the bolts temporarily by hand. Be careful not to confuse the top and bottom mounting nuts. Attach the hydraulic jack the same way it was done during the dismantling process and raise the pressure to the specified level. Tighten the nut by tapping the tool jack handle with a hammer. Tighten the exhaust manifold pipe. Next, when assembling the nozzle holder, check grease the nozzle holder tip and install a new gasket. Change the nozzle holder O-rings. Align the nozzle holder guide pin with the cylinder head guide groove. Then insert the holder. After replacing the inlet connector guide O-ring with a new one, insert it into the cylinder head. Check the seat of the inlet connector and screw it into the cylinder head. Tighten the nozzle holder nut to the specified torque. Then tighten the inlet connector to the specified torque rings on the injection pump upper joint and the cylinder head side of the injection block. Make sure that there are no foreign objects or scratches on the surface of the injection block joint or seat. And tighten the connecting bolts evenly to the specified torque. Next, rotate the piston to the combustion top dead center by turning the flywheel. Insert the push rods and valve T yokes. Use a dial gauge to check the movement of the valve T yokes. 
tighten the screw slowly until the needle starts to move. Then tighten the lock nut securely. Next, install the rocker arm assembly. After adjusting the tappet clearance, securely tighten the lock nut.